game show. I mean, the game show game. Being a massive celebrity can be lonely. That's why so many big Hollywood names have an entourage. <laughs> I hope Jesus picks up the check well, with all that Bible money. An entourage is an informal... What? You couldn't afford the Da Vinci? <laughs> C-list Last Supper painting. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the Last Supper is public domain. Like, you don't, you don't have to pay extra for it. Look, you knew who it was. <laughs> That's all that matters. An entourage is an informal collection of friends, yes-men, and douchebags that coalesce around a famous person to provide companionship and services. So we're gonna have fun with these professional hangers-on with our next game we're calling Entourage. <laughs> Don't worry, this game is 100% Jeremy Piven free. <laughs> Panelists, I'm going to show you a celebrity, and for 300 points, I want you to tell me who you would add to their entourage. First up, Jared Leto. <laughs> who would you add to his entourage? Pete. Just a living bag of skincare products? <laughs> Nico. Well, he doesn't age, so I would say a priest, because that man is a vampire, and he needs Jesus. <laughs> Billy. Someone to keep telling him only you could pull that off. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Next up, Nick Cannon. <laughs> Who should go in his entourage? Pete. Mariah Carey, so they can patch things up. Oh, that's a nice one. Billy. Ken Jeong, and I'm not explaining it. <laughs> this feels right. <laughs> Nico. A guy who remembers all his kids' names just in case he runs into them in public. <laughs> Your next celeb is Bravo icon Lisa Vanderpump. <laughs> who should be in her entourage? <laughs> Billy. One very basic gay man to keep telling her she's iconic. <laughs> Nico. A friend her own age. <laughs> Celebrity is Beyonce. <laughs> Look, the reaction to just seeing a photo of Beyonce. I know. Who should be it's added? It's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's <laughs> fun. Imagine looking like that. Oh my god. <laughs> just perfect all the time. Gah. Who should be in her entourage? <laughs> Nico. Who? Um, I don't know. An uh, awkwardly adorable Filipino homosexual. <laughs> The day, she's just a person, you know. Yeah, we're all just people. Yeah, we're all just yeah. people. So. Yeah. Pete. Aonce and Seonce. <laughs> Don't you grow! <laughs> I will die on that hill. That's the end of Entourage. You've really improved all these celebrities' lives. If there's one thing that can bring this country together, it's our shared love of fails. <laughs> but the sad fact is that many of these videos are the most embarrassing moments of real people's lives. <laughs> one man's epic fail is another man's epic cause of permanent back pain or epic precursor to divorce. <laughs> these people have had it hard enough, so we're going to spread some positivity with our next game on the bright side. <laughs> I'm going to show you a video of something awful happening to someone, and for 300 points, I want you to buzz in with a positive takeaway. First up, the dangers of gym life. <laughs> what is the positive takeaway here? <laughs> Billy. On the bright side, someone is masturbating to that. <laughs> On the bright side, at least your gym crush knows what you're working with. <laughs> Mine was you... a jerk <laughs> joke, Billy. <laughs> oh, so straight men own that? <laughs> <laughs> All right. On the bright side, it didn't happen on the elliptical. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I like the wording of mine. On the bright side, people are laughing at your video and masturbating. That was my take. <laughs> 
That's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> oh, come back. <laughs> All right. Next, this workplace accident. Oh, no. What's the takeaway here? <laughs> Billy. On the bright side, I can't wait to jerk <laughs> to <that. laughs> Good luck. Next, this regretful Thanksgiving dinner. Oh. 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 What's the best way to look at that? <laughs> Pete. On the bright side, he can still have sex with her. <laughs> Next one. Chug syrup. This is maple syrup, 24 ounce. Uh. <laughs> Bro, I got stuck in that straw. Oh, yeah. <coughs> this is how they kill time in Oxnard. <laughs> <laughs> What's the positive takeaway here? Billy. On the bright side, this proves my theory that some people shouldn't vote. <laughs> Nico. On the bright side, he has the honor of being the first person to be diagnosed with type 3 diabetes. <laughs> Pete. On the bright side, his next bowel movement will smell like breakfast is ready. <laughs> for once. Yeah. Nico is in the lead with 6,200 points. Yeah. Billy is in second with 6,100. Yeah. And Pete is in third with 5,600. Yeah. The clouds are parting as we speak. Stick around. We'll be right back. Yeah.